Guys, it's me from the future, just showing you that uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff set up to uh, test the EcoFlow Wave. So be sure to stick around uh, for the video coming up where we test temperature uh, differentials, compare the accuracy of uh, the sensors in this, with what it says on the app versus actual sensors. Anyway, all that's coming up uh, in this video. Be sure you're subscribed uh, because we've got more testing of this coming up. We're going to be testing run times off power stations. We're going to be testing the power in terms of how cool it can make a room. We're going to be testing in a vehicle coming up, uh, potentially even a tent. We're also going to be testing uh, come winter the heat uh, performance of this unit. So anyway, lots of exciting stuff. Be sure you're subscribed because uh, we've got some epic videos coming up on this EcoFlow Wave. Check out what I just got. Got the EcoFlow Wave 2. So let's do a quick uh, unboxing and overview of uh, what's included. We'll uh, do some testing with it. Okay, starting here we've got an adapter. We've got some uh, documentation right here. We've got another uh, adapter. So these are, looks like we've got uh, some kind of little piece of plastic right there. And we've got uh, yet one more adapter. And we've got a couple of different hoses here. So we've got the condensate hose. And we've kind of got a, a hose inside of a hose here. So we've got a larger diameter hose and a smaller diameter hose. Now we've got the AC power adapter. Looks to be all of the first level here. There's the wave itself. Okay, got the wave out. Comes with this uh, little uh, protection deal for the uh, louvers here, which is nice. Last but not least, we've got the uh, foam board for the window vents. So you could use this itself, uh, but I think it's mostly meant to be able to use as a template uh, so that you could you know, fabricate uh, other options uh, for venting it. We're gonna run a few tests that uh, I think you guys will enjoy. All right, uh, we've got the EcoFlow Wave 2 set up here, just kind of temporarily for testing. So uh, the exhaust uh, tubes uh, are just going out the doors i've just kind of kind of closed them uh, nothing's really sealed off or anything uh, at this point um mostly uh we're going to just see you know what it can do it's pretty mild temperature in this room because it's you know inside uh, my house um as you can see right here we're 72.9 nearly 73 degrees so very mild, uh, not a huge heat load. First, uh, we're gonna test and see um, with this thermometer what the uh, temperature of the air is coming out and compare that with what the app says and just see how accurate that information is. We're gonna test it on uh, plug power right over there. It's plugged in, but you can see right here, I've got the Delta II Max and uh, I've got the cable to connect the two together and we're going to see if there's any changes as far as uh, temperature and performance running off uh, outlet AC power versus uh, the battery power. Okay, so basically how we're going to do this, uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, I've got my temperature probe down uh, inside there right where the air discharges. Let's uh, fire this up and uh, see what uh, temperature uh, it gets down to and see how that compares to what the app tells us is the discharge air temperature. Okay, we're going to start out. Hopefully we don't get too much wind noise in max mode. So we're going to do the full fan speed as hard as it can possibly go. And then we'll just go through the fan speeds. I have a suspicion that the lower the fan speed, the colder the air output is. But uh, we'll see if that suspicion is true or not. Uh, as you can see, we're still about 74 degrees because the compressor has yet to kick on. So uh, we'll come back here after it's been running for a minute and, uh, and see what kind of temperature we're getting uh, out. It's on max mode. 
uh, which you can see over here on the app. Cranked it all the way down to as low as it'll go just to push it to as hard as possible. Notice that it is pushing out 49.9 degree air. The ambient air temperature is, let's see if it'll focus, I don't know if it will, but 68.7 is what that says. So I've got one temperature probe right here in front of the return air and uh, you can see it's 71.6.421.8 degrees Celsius. And then if we come up here, look at this, according to that, we're pushing out 46.8 degree air. So it uh, looks to be about three, three degrees difference. This is actually saying it's warmer than what this is registering, which is actually good. Better to have it skewed toward the warmer side than the cooler side, I'd say. So now what we're going to do is turn it down to just uh, manual high mode. And uh, let's see what happens uh, with that. We are now on just manual high fan mode. It's saying uh, 50.4 degree air coming out and our ambient air temperature being 68.2.1. It is getting cooler in here, that's for sure. Uh, it's doing its job. Um, we can look here, according to my sensor, which again is right here. Now this sensor is crazy sensitive. I can just bring my finger close to it, not even touch it, and you can see that it uh, can sense the heat coming off my finger. So anyway, uh, it's it gets swayed very easily. But uh, we can see that uh, we're low 71, high 70s. Uh, right about there, it's cool enough now for my finger uh, being nearby it. So, about two-ish degrees difference. This is saying 70, 71, somewhere right in there. And this, again, it's a little hard to see, but 68.7.6. Supply air temperature once again, currently registering on the app 50.1. And uh, if we look at this, we're actually at 47.1. Well, let's now switch it over here to the medium fan speed. And uh, see what kind of impact that has on the temperatures. It's been running for a few minutes on medium fan speed. Ambient room temperature, 68 degrees. Output air temperature, 50.5, 50.6. According to this, our ambient room temperature, at least at the return, is around uh, 70 degrees to high 69. And uh, up here, 46.9 degrees. So very similar to high fan speed. Let's go to low fan speed. And uh, give that a few minutes and we'll see what it does there. Having run on low speed for a minute, uh, according to this, our ambient air temperature 67.7, our outlet to air temperature 49.1. Outlet air temperature looks like to be 45, and uh, ambient air temperature 69.6. Let's uh, repeat these tests, doing it now with plugged into the DC, into the power station here, and just make sure that it runs the same uh, as it does from the AC uh, wall outlet. Okay, uh, same test as uh, last time. We're gonna uh, test the temperature at uh, all the different speeds uh, here, but uh, the big difference is uh, we've got this nice big cable and uh, plugged into the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. And uh, so we'll see if there's any difference in terms of performance from the wave off the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Uh, first off, um, take note, the screen is not on. I haven't turned anything on whatsoever yet. And... Uh, the delta here is registering that uh, we've, got, we've got about 11 watts 
being pulled from it right now. This uh, unit seems to have a little bit of a phantom load uh, on uh, that runs uh, when it's not doing anything. So, a uh, good thing to know if you want to maximize your battery life and you're not using the, pro the wave, unplug it. Uh, max mode connected to uh, the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Come here, you can see the little Max sign. You can also sit here on the phone. So, we've got it saying 48.4 degree outlet temperature, 48.3, 48.4, it's bouncing right around there. 68.8 degree ambient air temperature. Uh, according to this, our ambient air temperature at the return is 71.6 and uh, if we come up here our outlet temperature is 46 degrees on the money. Again we're on max mode and uh, we're pulling 440 watts. Uh, manual high fan plugged into the Delta 2 Max. Let's look right here. So you're on high fan speed and uh, it's saying we're blowing out 49 degree supply air, 68.8 .8 ambient air temperature. According to this, we've got about 71 degrees of ambient air temperature. And according to this, 46.9 degree uh, discharge temperature. So, on high fan speed, uh, it looks to be pulling about 344, right around there, watts. Medium fan speed using uh, the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. You can see medium fan speed right there. It says our supply air temperature is 48.4 and ambient air temperature is 67.1. According to this, we are 68.869 and our supply air temperature is 45.9 and uh, the current uh, wattage 320. Low speed uh, wave connect to the Delta 2 Max. We look here, it's reporting 46.8 degree supply. See low fan speed 67.4 ambient air temperature. Come over here, uh, we have a ambient air temperature of 69.8 and uh, if we look up here we have a supply temperature of 43.5 and then if we look over here we're drawing about 303 watts. Testing is complete. Testing from being powered by the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max uh, directly in via DC and then the uh, AC power. I'll put up the charts uh, right here so you can uh, see the comparison. Uh, generally speaking though, it's uh, pretty consistent. I don't think you're gonna get any benefit really one way or another, you know, using one power source or another. It more boils down to, you know, what you have accessible. Are you boondocking and, uh, you know, need to run off solar? Uh, or battery power, then uh, this is your answer. You know, you're gonna be just cooling down a room that uh, stays uh, warmer, or plugged into shore power, whatever, you know, uh, AC power uh, would be probably be the better uh, option in that regard. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this comparison. Uh, please be sure to like and definitely subscribe because we've got a lot more testing coming up. We're gonna do a real-time test on this power station to see how long it can power this, 100% to 0%. Uh, we're gonna do it two different ways. We're going to test it just on like manual mode, turbo, and the max. You wanna just pump out the power. You know, what's our uh, max runtime? And then we're also gonna do it on eco mode so that we kinda get a two-sided uh, comparison there. And then uh, we've also got tests coming up to see what kind of uh, temperature difference it can make in a room 
and then we're also going to test uh, some kind of vehicle and maybe even a tent. Uh, we'll see about that. And then coming up, uh, come winter time, we're going to be doing a bunch of uh, similar tests to what we just did, only uh, with the heat pump and on heat mode. So lots of videos coming up uh, that you definitely don't want to miss uh, testing this. And uh, be sure to comment any questions that you may have uh, down below. And uh, we'll try our best to, to answer them. Thanks so much.